Hello, and welcome back to Let's Replay Mystery Case Files 13th Skull. I'm MCF Papa, and this is part 11. And we just unlocked the bonus game in the last part, so... We start it, and it picks up right where the main game left off, and is like a direct continuation. But what's different than some other bonus games is you still can explore all around the other areas of the game, which is pretty interesting. I presently stand dumbstruck before what appears to be no fewer than a dozen galleons towering above the cypress and willows surrounding the swamp's clearing. Just moments ago, I witnessed the otherworldly spirit of the pirate Phineas Crown step forth into the warm breeze and take gruesome vengeance on my aggressors. After it vanished, I searched frantically for any sign of the Blanstons, but I fear they are forever lost to the dismal waters. I don't know why I was spared, but I'm too awestruck to give it much thought. Although the idea of boarding these ships opposes any rational sense, I can't help but feel there's more to this twisted tale. I'll gather the salt skulls for safekeeping and then try to climb aboard. Yeah, you have all 13 skulls conveniently bundled into one inventory icon, but you can, if you want, take them out and separate them into all 13. I really don't want to. <laughs> Why don't you have a look round, child? Like none the of the walk among us. none of the characters have anything else to say here, and for some reason Vinton is gone. I'm not entirely sure why, but it is interesting that they have all of them around here yet. Mary Lee's still sleeping. But if we go to the side of the house, a new hidden object scene has appeared, which is only available in the bonus game. Pretty cleverly hidden. Like, probably would take most people quite a while to find this. giant backpack to find here too. Huh. Dang it. I won't get a perfect score. Well maybe if I all the four out. Let's see if that works. I need the precious achievement. You know I need it. It's so important. Okay, it reset the whole thing. So maybe it... I still am in the standing for the achievement. But I don't agree with that anyway, because that is a basket. It's a laundry basket, but it is a basket. Maybe they're referring to it specifically as a hamper. Oh, that's probably the real basket. But. I guess I needed to be more careful with my clicking.
Oh, there's the telephone. Alright. But anyway, after that debacle, now I got the can opener. And if you remember, in the main game, there was a can right here that we couldn't open. Now with the can opener, you can. And there's a golden crown inside of it. And this is another hidden object scene that only appears now in the bonus game and not beforehand. Okay, now I wonder what they mean by process snack. Uh, no, not pizza. Oh, that's weird. There's a fish bowl there, but the goldfish was its own separate thing. I don't even know what that is. It's a processed snack, that's all I'm getting, I guess. But now with the ice pick, we can go to the freezer here in the... ...gas station we couldn't access before. And get the last of the golden insignias. After all that side stuff is done, we can actually progress with the main bonus game, which is here in the swamp clearing, which used to be so empty, now has so many ships around. So, there's a rope up there. So, just take a rock and throw it. Nope. Take another one. Nope. Third time's the charm. Yep. Beware the curse of crown. Oh yeah, now we get to hear good old Phineas Crown talking and taunting us throughout this. So here's a puzzled lock for the door, but can't open it. And the hatch is rusted shut too. Hmm. Go up the crow's nest. Can't. Let's investigate the wheel. It's missing its pegs. But hey, at least there is a new hidden object scene to do here. It has a nice little frog ribbiting along here. Actually scared me a bit. <laughs> oh, there's the gator swimming out in the water. Which makes sense. I just didn't notice that little section there was like, of the water. 
Hey, we get a cannonball for our trouble. Now, though, we can just drop it. Mm -hmm. Still no good. Let's try it again. Nope. Still no good. Third time's the charm. Yep. The rotting deck of the pirate's vessel makes moving about rather dicey. Centuries of submergence beneath the swamp's surface has left the ship's structure moldering and decayed. I have no idea how it remains intact. In this distance, I can make out the withering skeletons of several other boats that comprise what I assume to be Captain Crown's ill-gained fleet. Repeatedly dropping a stray cannonball easily splintered the mossy floorboards creating a modest hole that allows exploration below. The ship's hull groans loudly as the decrepit vessel rapidly takes on water from countless holes. Whatever I'm doing here best be done quickly before this thing slides back into the rock swamp. A swath of wreckage in the hold prevents additional survey. Hmm. I wonder if it is connected to something. And now here, it's like the segment in the grave with all the flooded items and such, but here you're actually searching through the debris to find the um, ship's pegs. And they aren't just in the corners this time, like the bolts in the main game or they're kind of nearby the corners but still they're a bit better spread out than they were before in the other one I mean yeah this is kind of a reused scene but it's kind of its own thing too so now we can repair the ship's wheel. Ah, uh, but first, of course, already get another hidden object scene here, because this bonus game is not that big. I think the more substantial bonus game was all the... collecting all the crown insignias throughout the game before this. It is a bit weird that Captain Crown, like, taunts you a ton, but then doesn't actually do anything to attack you. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe after being so long, like, under the swampy water, he wanted a moment to rest before going after you. I don't know. I don't know why the wheel wouldn't turn with just like one peg attached, or even no wheel pegs attached, just spin the outside of the wheel. I don't know, but you needed to put the six pegs in for some reason. And now with the wheel spun, now the wreckage is gone. We can move to the storeroom. There's a harpoon gun, but we need something to attach to the harpoon to not lose it. I wonder what we could possibly use. Hmm.
That's a really that was a really fitting wig, you know, being like the really old-fashioned powdered wig. I don't know what's up with the saber, why it, like, rotates when you collect it. It's a bit weird. to the other ship and finish off the bonus game in the next part so like and subscribe if you want i'll see you then